This video will discuss the first law of thermodynamics. So the first law of thermodynamics says that the energy of an isolated system is constant. So this could be equivalently stated as saying that the first law of thermodynamics is conservation of energy. All right, so we said it's an isolated system. So we need to talk a little bit about uh, different types of systems and what those definitions mean. All right, so uh, the universe is an isolated system because the universe is, as far as physical material goes, is everything that exists. So the change in the energy of the universe is going to be equal to the change in the energy of what we define as our system plus what we define as the surroundings. So the delta E of the universe equals delta E of the system plus delta E of the surroundings, which equals zero because the universe is isolated. So for any surroundings, they have to, their change in energy must be equal and opposite to the change in energy of whatever our system is. All right, so different types of systems. So an isolated system is one that does not exchange energy or matter with its surroundings. So since the universe is defined as everything that exists in the physical universe, uh, there is no surroundings to it, so it is by definition isolated. So it doesn't exchange energy or matter with anything outside the universe. We also have closed systems. Closed systems do not exchange matter with the surroundings, so matter cannot get into or out of the system, but they do exchange energy. So in this kind of diagram that we have drawn here, we have our system in yellow, the surroundings in blue, and then the system plus the surroundings is the entire universe. So th the system can exchange matter and or energy with its surroundings depending on what type of system it is. So for an, a closed system, you can exchange energy, but you can't exchange matter. And then an open system is one which can exchange both energy and matter with the surroundings. So uh, human beings are open systems because they exchange you know, air, they exchange water, uh, any food input or waste output, those are exchanging matter with the surroundings. Um, the earth is an open system because it can exchange energy and matter with uh, the rest of space. So most systems that we're familiar with are open systems, but in this course we're going to prim be primarily studying closed and isolated systems. All right, so how can a system exchange energy with the surroundings? So the two main ways that the system and surrounding ex surroundings exchange energy that we'll discuss in this course are through work and through heat. So work is the energy input from the surroundings to the system that results from imbalanced forces. It's, it results in some kind of mechanical disturbance to the system. The system usually either gets larger or smaller while it is either doing work or work is done on it. And heat is the energy input from the surroundings to the system from imbalanced temperature. So energy that flows into the system such that it'll increase the temperature of the system or induce some phase transition, that energy is heat. All right, so then for work and heat, we have to take care about the sign conventions of these for when uh, the energy of the system goes up when delta E cis is greater than zero and when delta E cis is below zero. So I mentioned that the energy of the universe is constant because it is an isolated system and according to the first law isolated systems do not have any energy change. So the surroundings will have the opposite sign in energy change to the system. So we need to pay attention that we're defining things usually from the perspective of the system. So if the energy of the system goes up, then we say that work was done on the system. The surroundings did work and it put energy into the system. And if the energy goes up as a result of heat, we say that heat was input into the system. Heat flowed from the surroundings to the system. If the energy of the system goes down due to work, we say that work was done on the surroundings. The system uh, typically expands and then it does work on the surroundings in order to expand. And for heat, when, this, when the energy of the system goes down to a heat flow, we say that heat is released from the system. Heat is flowing from the system to the surroundings. 
So the laws of thermodynamics are going to be the basis of what we use to build up uh, the types of ideas that we use throughout the rest of this course. There are going to be three laws of thermodynamics, and these laws of thermodynamics are things that are known to be empirically true uh, as far as all measurements goes, as far as the entire body of scientific research is, uh, is concerned, that they're pretty much things that are there really aren't any known exceptions to that their scope is pretty much encompassing all physical behavior. So this is our first law, that the energy of an isolated system is constant, which we use uh, to look at, we're primarily going to look at closed systems in this course, and looking at uh, work and heat uh, in the upcoming chapter.